Alright guys, today I'm going to teach you guys how to make a Devil May Cry 1 style camera inside of Unreal Engine 5. If you're unfamiliar with what type of style of camera it is, is basically if I go over to this area right here, you'll notice that my camera goes from third person into first person. And then if I go ahead and I just walk out of this area, my camera will go back to a third person camera. So that is basically what Devil May Cry 1 does. It's super easy, super simple to do, so let's jump right into it. Alright, so the first thing we're going to be doing is we're going to go into our third person character. And then what I want to do is basically I'm just going to be copying and duplicating my camera camera so i'm just gonna hit duplicate and i'm gonna change this camera to be change camera and then what i'm gonna do i'm just gonna remove this camera off the spring arm and just put it directly on my capsule component and then i'm just gonna move this camera up forward and just put it directly on my character's head to bring like a first person view type camera all right so once we do that the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna actually open up our content drawer by hitting control space as a hotkey and then what i'm gonna do i'm gonna right click and then i'm gonna go over here to blueprint class and i'm gonna be creating a brand new blueprint class and i'm gonna be sending it to actor and i'm just gonna call this change camera And then once I do that, the next thing I'm going to do, I'm just going to double click on this to open it up. And then inside of this change camera, what I want to do, I want to click on this little plus icon right here. And I'm just going to type in box collider. So we're just going to be getting a box collision. And then the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to make their uh, scroll down. And I'm going to make sure that generating hit on overlap is set to true. And then what I want to do is I want to click on this little plus icon right here for on component begin overlap. And then I also want to go back to it as well. And I'm going to be clicking on on component begin and overlap as well. So right here, the next thing we're going to do is I'm going to drag off this and I'm just going to be casting to my third person character. So the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to drag off this and I'm basically going to get a reference to both my cameras. So I'm going to get follow camera. I'm going to get this and then I'm also going to get a reference to the change camera. And then the next thing I'm going to do over here, I'm going to drag off this and I'm going to type in set active. And I'm going to be getting a reference to set active. I'm just going to duplicate this as well because I need two of these nodes. I'm just going to connect this. I'm going to connect this. And then basically for my follow camera, what I want to do is I'm actually going to drag this over here because I want the follow camera to not be active. And then I'm also going to drag this into this right here. And this is going to set the change camera to active. So now if I go back to my third person, right? And if I open up my content browser and we just drag this into our scene and we just scale it up a little bit. And then I move this forward right here. You'll notice if I play the game and I walk into this bounds right here, that my camera will go into that first person camera bounds. But if I walk out, nothing changes back to that third person camera. That's because we didn't set up the logic. So that just makes sure that works for that on begin overlap. So now if we go back to our change camera, the next thing I'm going to do, I'm just going to basically copy this logic. I'm just going to control C and then control V in order to paste it. So let's just connect this right here and then connect this to the other actor. And what I'm going to do, I'm just going to simply change these nodes around and I'm just going to sit there and put this over here for change camera we're going to set this new active to be set to false and then we're going to be setting this to camera follow to be set to true now if i go ahead and i hit compile and then i go back into the engine and i hit play you'll notice that if i walk into this bounds you'll see that my character goes into this first person camera's perspective and then if i walk out i go back into that third person camera's perspective so that is super simple super easy on how you make a devil may cry type one style camera inside of your game if you guys enjoyed the video make sure you guys like the video as well as subscribe to the page while your notifications are turned on so you don't miss an upload and i'll see you guys on the next one